Welcome back to Access Carolina. An educational and uplifting art showcase that had its big event earlier this month is now able to put in a, a sort of an encore. Curator and artist Timothy Cunningham is here to talk about it. Welcome, glad you're here. Yes, thank you. Um, first, tell us about the showcase. Tell us about Greenville Through a Lens. I know it highlights local black history and landmarks and people. Yeah, so it's faces and places of Greenville. It's the rich culture that, that goes unseen. So these are untold stories. Mm -hmm. And it's nothing like spectacular, no superhero stories. This is the regular business owner owner, doctor, teacher story. Something that everybody can relate to yeah. and connect with. Uh, Greenville Through a Lens debuted at Unity Park's Welcome Center on May 6th. Really a meaningful location for this event. Tell us uh, how you came upon it and, yeah. and about that. So Unity Park was, it started as Hudson Athletic Field. And then Mayberry Park is the baseball field mm -hmm. that got put there for the black community. And then Meadowbrook Park came after. And, well, they took half of Mayberry to make it, right? So everybody got, there was an uproar with the community leaders. And then they took another chunk and put a police shooting range there. So now, today, they're uniting everything together and calling it Unity Park, and they're trying to get everybody to get involved. Yeah, so great for you to have been there. That must have been a fun event. It was so good. And the Welcome Center is, like, huge and very accommodating. Yeah, very good. And now, hosted by the gallery on North Street, there's a second chance for people yeah. to experience Greenville Through a Lens happening this Friday. Um, how did that come to happen? So we've been going to the gallery on North. You, have you ever been to First Fridays? Yes. When the studios open up their doors. So we've been going to theirs for over a year now. They do it so good. You feel like family when you're in there. You get to meet these artists. They bring some of the best artists of Greenville out there. And they actually won an award last year for selling the most artwork on First Fridays. Very good. So you kind of connect with those people and they say, hey, come in here. What, yeah. what can people expect at that venue now if they go that check venue, it out? That venue, they got multiple rooms. They got food and drinks. And it's about two to three hours. You're going to hear every artist speak. Maybe some of the sponsors might speak, but then there's a whole lot of good networking. So you're going to shake hands with some people that you never would have met before. That's very, very good. What else uh, do you want people to know about Greenville Through a Lens, you know, what, what it's really meant to accomplish and what you're working on? Greenville Through a Lens, so it's going to be an annual showcase on mm -hmm. the southern side of Greenville. If we grow, outgrow the Welcome Center, we're going to still be somewhere on the southern side. And it's annual showcase, but throughout the year, we're going to have workshops and mentorships for all of the underserved artists here in Greenville. Excellent. Now, now, now tell me about yourself a little bit. You're the owner of Greenville's Wine and Design, yeah. involved in the communities in a lot of ways. Um, tell us about what makes you so passionate about art in general. I don't talk about wine and design enough. And I am a fine artist. I've been, an, I've been a showcasing artist for 23 years. And it's, wow. Yeah, it's a long time. And wine and design, I fell in love with teaching paint and sips because my wife went to a, a, a ladies' night when we were located here on Pelham, and she was like, you got to go over there and check that Nobody place out. Nobody doesn't love those. <laughs> so, so I went and checked it out, and I had never heard of a paint and sip. So I went and laid eyes on it. I just watched a class for a while, and then I said, let's go on a date night. And then we did a date night, and then I said, let's buy this place and let me teach it. And so we taught there. I taught there for a year before we ended up uh, purchasing, and um, we've been doing it for a long time. That's cool. There's just something to be said about the power of art, whatever yeah. level you're on. I mean, I think you can connect with people who are having a paint and sip, people yep. who are creating great masterpieces. It, it opens us all up to each other. It's a place to unwind, so it's mostly a ladies' night or family night, yeah. and people use it for their corporate team buildings, but it's just unwind. It's not so much about the art. It's about yeah. the experience, and uh, we're, we got, we're professional artists. We're there to teach you how to do it, but yeah. we just want to see you have fun together. And people can check out some of the things that stress them out and just, yeah. just enjoy the experience exactly. there. Well, we know uh, we want to put Friday's event info on screen now for anybody who wants to check that That's out. Right. That's the second chance to experience Greenville Through a Lens happening this Friday from 5 to 8 at the Gallery on North Main Street, the location there, 508 East North Street. Timothy, thank you very much. Have a great show. We appreciate Absolutely. it. Thank you so much.